the first thing I would love to hear from you. Um, I watched many of the interviews been made with you during the years and read some of them. And each time the Hansman's tale was mentioned, uh, every time the person who interviewed you said it was uh, more than ever uh, relevant today. And I think every time it was more than ever relevant. What explains that? Well, because uh, when I wrote it in 1984-5, um, people were already in the United States. Some people were already talking about what kinds of changes they would like to make if they got power. Mm -hmm. And now they have power. So it is one of those things in which uh, when such ideas are first mentioned, people say, oh, no, they'll never do that. But if they've said they would do that, and they get power, they will probably do it. Mm -hmm. and I think so I never believed, I never believed it can't happen here. And I al always believed that human rights are made by humans. And that means that human rights can be taken away by humans. Yes, but I noticed that every time that the totalitarian regime um, g gains power, almost the first thing that they are interested in are women's bodies and women's rights over very, their bodies. Very much so. Yeah, they're, why they're, is it a government they're issue? Very why do you think it's a government issue? It goes way back in history, and it goes back to something very, very primal, which is... Uh, Unless we develop bottle babies that are made in machines, the next generation is made by women. So if you want more next generation, as Napoleon did, you ban contraception. Mm -hmm. uh, so what he wanted was cannon fodder. Um, if you feel you've got too many people, then you take the opposite view and you limit the number of babies that women can have, which is one of the things China did mm -hmm. uh, in the 20th century. So it's going to be, it's going to be an issue for governments <clears throat> always because it depends what kind of government it is, but if they're a nationalist government, they're going to want to increase the number of babies that their people have and decrease the number of babies that people they don't like have. But do you think now with the Trump um, um, uh, statements towards uh, human rights um, um, organization and birth control? Um, well, he's, he's creating a potential catastrophe because you, if, you, if you force women to have children they can't afford and you're not going to help them uh, with their prenatal nourishment, and you're not going to help them with their health care during childbirth, and if you're not going to help them with their postnatal care, what will be the result? The result will be a lot more dead women and malnourished children and orphans and, and uh, children that are, are given up because the mother cannot afford to raise them. Are you more um, um, pessimistic about the future? Is it possible that you're... I am more... Okay, I'm optimistic about the future in that people in the United States are, are organizing quite a lot right now, and there's been a huge amount of support for Planned Parenthood despite the attempts to shut it down. Um, but, but what do these people... You know, what sort of world do they want? Do they do they want a world in which uh, all of these women are going to um, be living in a in a really horrible way inside their very own American democracy? Is that what they want? This is it, it's supposed to be the land of the individual, but but. What right do they have to um, appropriate other people's bodies? 